Hey guys, my name is Mithun and in this YouTube tutorial, I'm going to show you the differences between Snagit and Camtasia. Many people when they purchase Camtasia or Snagit, they think that it actually is for a particular purpose, but they mistake it for Snagit or the Snagit users mistake it for Camtasia. So in this video, I'm going to, I'm going to actually list down the major differences be between each of these platforms. And if you want to invest money on any of these platforms, which particular feature should you pay attention to? So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Snagit is a fully fledged screen capturing or screenshot taking computer software, which means that uh, you will have to install it on your computer in order to use it. It also comes with uh, Mac OS application, but if you are a Linux user, better luck next time because it actually doesn't support any Linux operating systems as of now. I don't think they're going to launch a Snagit version specifically for Linux because Linux is an open source platform and you cannot build a premium software for an open source platform. Uh, so because of that, I don't think Snagit is ever going to be released on Linux. And if you are somebody who's actually li using Linux or who does not want to install any software on their computer, I would strongly recommend you to get Pepo Cloud because Pepo Cloud is a web application. All you have to do is go to pepocloud.com and start using the same. On top of having all the features that Snagit has on offer, Pepo Cloud actually has a lot more features such as uh, collaborations, screen recording, editing after the screen recording is completed, adding uh, multiple visual and audio effects, uh, recording your camera and your screen at the same time, uh, sharing it with your colleagues after the recording is completed, uh, doing live uh, using the recording tool and sharing it on YouTube live as well. So the features are endless and uh, if I were you and I was looking at Snagit, I would definitely consider Pebble Cloud without thinking twice. The next feature is that uh, it has a lot of advanced image editing tools for adding arrows and other effects after taking a screenshot, uh, which means that uh, after you take the screenshot using Snagit, it will actually automatically load the screenshot in Snagit editor. And this is where you can actually add a lot of arrows, crop the image, add uh, text and uh, callouts and whatnot. In short, you can make your screenshot really expressive and uh, that actually makes a lot of difference, especially if you're going to share your screen capture with, with the audience using your blog or even use that in your YouTube channel. The next feature that Snagit comes back with is that uh, it also lets you record your screen and use your microphone to record your voice narration. I kind of like this feature because it gives you a limited access to a powerful tool that is available in Camtasia. But since you actually only paid for uh, Snagit, the feature is limited somehow. And if you record your screen for more than one hour or so, the chances are that the software will crash on you. So be careful if you are a Snagit user and you want to record your screen for more than one hours. Unfortunately, uh, Snagit doesn't actually offer any audio or video editing tools in its Snagit editor. So if you have recorded your screen using Snagit editor, you will have to use an advanced video editing tool such as uh, uh, Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve to edit it. Or if you have Camtasia Studios subscription, you can actually use Camtasia editor to edit edit the video as well. Both Camtasia and Snagit are actually developed by TechSmith, which means that you can purchase these softwares individually from TechSmith.com. As mentioned earlier, whenever you're recording for a longer time, Snagit usually will crash on you and it will actually be very frustrating if you're recording for a particular purpose and you're in a hurry to actually complete the recording and share it with others. Some users have also complained that uh, the scrolling window capture feature on Snagit doesn't actually work smoothly with certain browsers. And I've personally experienced it while working with Windows browser and Snagit. It does not work. But thankfully, Snagit also comes with a panorama window capture option using, using which you can actually capture the full screen version of your website or any application by just manually scrolling down. One of the best features that I like about Snagit is that it lets you convert your screen recordings. It lets you convert your screen recordings into a GIF. I don't know if there are many softwares out there that will let you do that other than Snagit and Camtasia. But if you're somebody who does not want to spend a lot of money on software and is happy with Snagit's feature and uh, bells and whistles, 
this is an amazing software to actually generate a lot of uh, GIFs that you can actually include in your website as well. Now, moving on to the pricing section, Snagit is also an expensive software if you just consider all the features. It could cost you up to $50 depending on the time of year that you're investing on the software. On top of that, if you want to give it a trust drive, it will give you a seven days to 21 days of uh, trial period that you can uh, pretty much use on one computer. Now, the next software on this list is Camtasia. I would uh, like to refer to Camtasia as the sister application to Snagit. Snagit is how they actually uh, grab your attention and uh, convince you that uh, they build amazing softwares and uh, Camtasia is their flagship product which is expensive, has a lot more feature as compared to Snagit and offers a lot more editing tools when compared to Snagit as well. To start with, it is a professional screen recording software that actually is used by many professionals to create a screen recording for tutorials and course content. So if you're somebody who wants to use a powerful soft powerful software to record their screen, I would highly suggest you to use uh, Camtasia. As mentioned earlier, Camtasia has a lot more video, audio and uh, uh, green screen editing tools into this platform, which means that uh, you don't have to deal with a lot of complicated things similar to Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. All you have to do is drag down the features that you need onto the timeline and it will be completed automatically. Plus one of the best features that I like about Camtasia is that it lets you edit 4K footage and export footage in 4K resolution, which is a game changer because as we know, media is actually moving slowly towards 4K resolutions and in a few years, we would all be using 4K devices and 4K computers. That means that if you have the ability to actually re record and export videos in 4K resolution today, it will be future proof and you will be able to use those piece of content as evergreen piece of content for a long time. Now, if you ask me what are a few features that actually can help you become a really successful YouTuber online today, I would say that uh, the ability to remove green screen, recording multiple sources and actually capturing the webcam and the screen recording at the same time are a few of the many features that actually is needed by many people that uh, upload content on YouTube today. Don't worry about it because Camtasia actually lets you do all of these things without any problem. In fact, Camtasia is the only software in this list that actually lets you remove green screen with just a single click. And that's the magic behind it. And that's how easy it is to actually work with green screen in Camtasia. If I compare Camtasia with PepoCloud, I would strongly recommend uh, you to give PepoCloud a try because uh, PepoCloud is a completely web-based web application which means that you don't have to deal with expensive licensing and all that kind of stuff. All you have to do is go to pepocloud.com and get started with the web application right away. Now, the problem that I faced with Camtasia is that uh, when working with the long footage with high resolution uh, screen capture and video cam capture, the editor actually doesn't load up which means that all the recording will eventually get lost if the recording is not loaded onto the Camtasia editor. And that's a drawback when working with this particular software. I mean, TechSmith should give an option so that you could actually save the recording once it is completed. Since it is not completed and it is automatically loaded onto Camtasia editor, there is no way that you could actually bypass this option and uh, directly save it as a video file. That's the biggest downside to using this particular software. Considering the fact that you're spending a lot of money to get the software, you should at least have the option to select how you want to edit the file after the recording is completed. The last and the most important aspect of this particular comparison is the pricing. TechSmith's Camtasia costs almost 10 times as Snagit because it is somewhere around $300 right now. And believe me, I don't think this software is worth $300 because you, for $300, you could get DaVinci Resolve, which is a much more powerful video editing software that even people in the Hollywood industry use. So I don't know why they are charging so much money for a simple screen recording and video editing software, because uh, as far as I'm concerned, you could easily record high resolution screen recordings of your screen using OBS and uh, many other softwares today. And and edit them using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So it does not make any sense they are charging you 300 bucks just to get the software. So in my conclusion, I would say that uh, Camtasia is for people who want to record high resolution uh, screen recordings and capture their webcam at the same time. Plus they also want a powerful video editing software attached to their 
uh, web rec uh, screen recording platform. And Snagit is simply a screenshot taking application that you should just use to take screenshot of your desktop or your laptop computers. Unfortunately, none of these softwares actually are available on Linux, but you can use Pepo Cloud to actually work with uh, Linux operating system. And if you are not willing to pay money for these two software, you can always uh, get started with uh, Pepo Cloud, which is a much more affordable platform with much more features and bells and whistles. So that was my comparison tutorial for Snagit and Camtasia. If you have any doubts or questions, please drop them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more similar updates. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till then, take care and bye-bye.